Okay, welcome to the finale of Valkyria Chronicles. Let's get started. Your Highness honors me with an audience. I offer my thanks. We, Maximilian, stand humbly before you. Your Highness, you must allow me to apologize for the somewhat brutish manner of my entrance to your domains. We'd expect no less from Europa's premier commander, the great Maximilian, to cross our sovereign border with such lightning speed. Your tactics are admirable. And you are the one they call Borg. You attempt to ally yourself with the Federation. Then you turn over a new leaf and become the Empire's informant. It is all to ensure that Gallia remain a stable nation, of course. Ours is a small land, as you know. Our fate is made secure by such agreements. The sovereign state of Gallia will accept unconditional surrender and become a vassal state to your empire. In return, by our treaty, and your grace's favor, I, your humble servant Borg, will rule Gallia in your stead. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken. What use could we possibly have for Gallia as a vassal state? We, Maximilian, shall be the one to assume the Archduchy. And then, Gallia shall be made anew under us. But, but we agreed. Then as sole master of this palace, we shall wake the lance that lies resting within its walls. Falkov, the key to ruling all Europa. <gasps> the lance? How could you know? My dear princess, Cordelia, you shall serve as our bride. The Valkyrian bloodline, legacy of the great House Rongris, would be a fitting dowry for us, King of Europa. The Valkyrian bloodline? I see. You wish to ransom Europa with its power. Indeed. The reverence and respect the people of this continent hold for that ancient blood is undiminished to this day. Well then, I hate to disappoint you, but this is the true face of House Rongri. Your Highness, what are you doing? As you can see, my blood is not Valkyrian. It is Darkson. Princess, what is the meaning of this? Thousands of years past, the Valkyrie invaded from the north to lay claim to Europa. The indigenous people the Darkson tribes fought them for control of this land. But the powers of Ragnite they possessed were too great. The Darkson cities were burned. The struggle continued, though its conclusion was clear. Ultimately, one influential clan among the Darkson tribes defected to the Valkyrie side. The Darkson were defeated quickly became slaves to the Valkyrie. And victorious, the Valkyra authored history to blame Darkson's for scorching the earth. Of course, then the descendants of that clan of treacherous Darkson's lived on as... Yes, as House Rondgris, the Archdukes of Gallia, in return for their betrayal, the Valkyrie established them as the rulers of Gallia. We donned the identity of our masters and were complicit in the darks and slander. With a perfect scapegoat, the people quickly acquiesced to new rule. 
common tale. A common tale that has caused me much grief. To face my people deceptively has pained me. Until the day came that I ran from that pain, trading my free will for comfort. Were it not for a single officer's words, I would no doubt still be lost in that conceit. I am bound by neither fate nor duty to obey the false blood within me. I live by my own will. I live for the sake of Galia and its people. This, and this alone, is my calling. All the more reason to be my bride. No. For the sake of my people, I shall see you dead! <laughs> <laughs> what delightful barbarism. Do all Galleon brides share your lust for blood? <laughs> If you desire safety for your people, it would behoove you to obey me, Highness. The Valkov is in my possession. To see your homeland burn again, that would be a shame. Has something happened? What's all the commotion? It's them. The Imperial Army invaded Rangrees. What? They crashed through the city walls with a huge tank and drove it into the castle. And now they're doing some kind of work on the tank still half stuck into the castle. Work on that? Did they learn of the Valkov's location? No. I can't afford to wait around here. Sorry, but... <clears throat> my... my chest... It's tight. It hurts. Hmm? What? What's wrong? My... My heart! I... Help! Help me! Are you alright? Hey! Talk to me! I'm sorry. Let's go up! I've got to get to Rangreese. I just hope I'm in time. We're drawing close to Rangreese now. As for our plan of attack, once we arrive... Focus your attacks on the spot damaged by Sergeant Melchiot in the previous battle. Exploit that, gain access to the interior, and destroy the Dreadnought's engine. Follow? Yes, Captain. I'm confident you can do this, soldiers. You are dismissed. Quite a risky operation. I know. I'm worried about morale if everyone feels like it's a suicide mission. We're used to your crazy missions by now, aren't we guys?
Yeah, you bet. Nothing bothers me anymore now. And it helps to know that if we can just win this one, our war will be over. We'll do it for Isara, and all the other friends we lost along the way. And for all of Galia's people. One more victory, and they'll have peace. Words fail me. Thank you. All right. Everybody, get ready to deploy. Almost showtime, huh, Welkin? Militia rides into Rand Grease Showdown. Mind if I put you all story on the radio? I'm afraid I can't go help you fight. But I'd like to do what I can to stand by you, as ace journalist Irene Ellett. Okay, why not? Our activities are hardly a secret to the Empire at this point. hearing your full name like that. At least until the war ends and I get married. Then I'll be Irene Kohler, just FYI. This'll be my last big assignment as an Ellet. <sighs> Time to do the old name proud. Give me a status report on affixing the lance. Work should be complete shortly, followed by final testing, sir. Good. Keep it moving along, soldier. Yes, sir. I knew it. They came to the capital to get at the Valkov. Bastards. You won't have it! Now, your highness, affix your signature to this treaty of marriage. You have no choice if you wish to keep your people safe. <clears throat> your grace, sir! Be silent. This treaty seals our victory. Sir! The Gallians have broken through the vassal defenses! General Jaeger is defeated! Now the militia is headed here to Randgrees even as we speak! What?
go. We're all cheering for you. Make us proud. Belgian, if you're watching up there, your son could probably use a little help. So, we shall fight them off ourselves. Quickly, to the Marmota. Yes, sir! Thing on top. I've seen that. It's just like the Valkyrian lance, the one that Alicia carried. Look out, Sevens! Clear the Marmota's forward path! Move it! The Gallian militias fanned out ahead of us in a line, sir. Range, 4,000 meters. They say that in antiquity, the Valkyra called upon Valkov's light to crush and subjugate the entire Darkson tribe. The greatest weapon of all time, fashioned into something as pedestrian as a castle tower. How could they have known? And now it awakens. Shouldered by the Marmota we have engineered to bear it, a leviathan upon the land. Now, know the futility of your struggles. Bow before the terrible light that once scorched the earth. Beam of light! 
Squads four and five have been wiped out. Hot damn. If we'd been one step slower, we'd be a big pile of dust by now. Stay clear of the front of that thing! Move around to its side! <laughs> Dare you face us yet after that display? Power enough to bring any foe to his knees. This is the future face of warfare. To impress the magnitude of our power upon the world, you shall all die gruesome. Now, cross us if you dare. Our history of unrivaled glory begins. Here are the details on this operation. Concentrate your fire on that dreadnought and destroy it. Our target is the Marmota. Sink it at all costs. Squad 7, move out! Here we are, actually squaring off against the Marmota. Yeah, this will really be the final battle. Lieutenant Gunther, are you all right? Princess Cordelia, what are you doing here, Your Highness? I know I may just be in the way, but I wish to be of assistance however I am able. I wish to fight as well. Allow me to stand in defense of my homeland. I understand. We'd be honored to have your help in the rear guard. Here's the plan. Start by focusing our fire on the whole Alicia's lance made. The dreadnought side is lined with cannons, though, so you'll need to be careful. Roger! Also, tanks can use the depression in front of the Marmota to fire upward. Right. I'm on it. We've come through a lot of tight spots, Sevens. Believe in yourselves. I know we can do this. Squad Seven, move out! to defend yourself. Entering combat. Now! We've blown open the damaged area on the Marmota's side. 
Yes! The plating on that spot was vulnerable after all! Sir, part of the side plating damaged in that explosion appears usable as a foothold. You're right. It looks like we could climb up from there. Judging from its design, the Ragnite drive system is likely near the propellers. If foot soldiers could get at those to attack them, they may be able to do further damage. Okay, let's go with that plan of attack. It's got to stop it! Destroying the drive system powering the propellers has paid off! Good. If we can just destroy that lance, the Marmota will be defanged. Listen up, Sevens. Your orders are to direct all attacks at that lance's tip. Tanks, use the incline at the Marmota's front. Ground units, aim high and let fly. Leave it to me.
Save me some glory! some glory. Okay? 
wish to be of assistance however I am able. Check me out! Save me some glory! Ha! Save me some glory! me. Stay calm. 
Try to read. You? Sure. On my way. best.
He's done this turn. Here we go. Are you sure? I'll do my very best. This one's got everything I've got. You're going down. Hector for the kill. Operation complete. Enemy dreadnought destroyed. Repeat, enemy dreadnought destroyed. I got an A on that too. That was really good. We're going to go get our um go back to headquarters real quick fast last time. Okay. Let's find the engine and kill it. That would be most inconvenient. Maximilian. Show yourself. The finest engineers of the Empire shed both blood and tears to forge this Valkyrian shield and spear. As you will observe, their powers exceed even the originals. Stop this! Haven't enough men died? Why are you doing this? Why we fight for our dream? Do you not think that reason enough? So many have died for less. Besides, we must. Rightful vengeance must be meted out. What is this? We were born an imperial prince. But our mother was of low station. For this our father shunned us. The other heirs saw us as a threat to their ascension. They bombed our train when we were but a child. Though we survived by some cruel miracle, the fates were not so kind to mother and the rest. On that day we swore an oath. We would take the Empire, and the Emperor's throne for our own. Okay, here we go. Hey, last time, why not do it? Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots! Train all you want! I've got all day! Bite the bullet! No pain, no gain! Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Come back! Trust me, you're gonna need this. <laughs> Okay, I had to take a break for a minute because, yeah, okay. 
So now we're gonna fight Maximilian. Here we go. Let's get started. For years we sought a way to lay our rightful claim to the Empire. And at last, our answer has come. Let me guess. You're talking about the Valkyrie's power. The time of wars waged by men wielding powder and steel is fated to end ere long. The new age will be shaped by emperors, not men. Yes, he who wields the destructive power of the Valkyra grips the very reins of history. Peasants, let us end this! We shall never stop, not while we draw breath! <laughs> Okay, I thought you had to take out all five towers. You don't. You do not have to take out all five towers. You just need to take out the three that are glowing. Then you're good to kill him. Here we go. set to begin. Let's take Dahlia back with our own hands, Sevens! Let's kill this son of a bitch. This is our final operation. Let's end this war. Squad Seven, move out! I don't even have to use my tank in this part. I really don't. Up on the Marmota's deck, eh? Nice spot for a showdown. It's just a shame we got no audience. My shamrock's chomping at the bit for a piece of this action. The Edelweiss is also all ready to go, sir. We're ready for your orders, Welkin. Okay, let's get started, Sevens. Our target is the enemy commander, Maximilian himself. Fucking done. Fuck done him yet. up. Enemy unit neutralized. This is an order. Attack with everything you've got. I'm on. After me, kiddos! 
So he was using the towers to induce an artificial Valkyria state. All right, everybody. Keep your sights trained on those energy towers. Engaging the enemy. Who's a sexy tank? Getting that to its limit, dude. You're gonna die. I'll do my best. Let his ass come down.
I'm not cut out for this. Pump and full, uh... Oh, Dangerous pay for that, you stupid bitch. Reach Empire! Taking action, sir. Death by firing squad, get him. <laughs> He's gonna get pumped with more lead, let's watch. Less easy. I'm on. And he's dead. Done it in one turn before, man. <laughs> I did it in two turns. That's not bad. Damn you, dogs of Gallia! It's time to surrender, Maximilian. Your war is over. <laughs> surrender, you say. I think you forget. We Valkyra can give our lives to fuel a blazing hot inferno of destruction! Don't do this! It doesn't have to end like this! It seems our dreams are not to be. Well then, join us! Let Kalia fall to ash! What? How? Why has it stopped? My guess is... It's because I killed the power supply. <laughs> Faldio! Faldio you to the rescue! I snuck out in time to hitch a ride on this monster. I'm sorry it took me so long to stop the engine. Uh, 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 what are you doing? Let's go! Sorry, buddy. But I can't do that. No! What are you 
doing, Faldio? This is insane! Faldio, stop! Well, Alicia, no matter my reasons, I was wrong to have betrayed you. Now, it's time that I paid for what I have done. Let go! Let us go now! Look at the two of us, thinking power could save us. Now it's our cue to leave the stage. Farewell, Welkin, Alicia. Best of luck. That part always gets to me. a lost cause. Alicia, let's find a way up. Right. Lead on. I'm not afraid when I'm with you. Ever. Now let's go. Thanks. Right. Let's move. Okay. <laughs> the ending now. I mean, I freaking lost it. In that scene where Faldio died. <laughs> I'm, I was tearing up. I was crying. Okay. So, yeah, escape. Let's finish this game. <laughs> Sara, KC and myself, well, everyone in the squad really came by to pitch in a hand. It was Isara's dream, you know? So, uh, it wasn't hard finding help. I don't suppose it was. Isara, you'll always live inside us. The dreams you left that day, now they're all of ours. Rest in peace. So tell me, bro, how far are we going today? This baby could take us clear across the sea if we want. Back home. Back to a free country. Our friends are waiting. 
take us to Rangri's. It's not the ending, it's still going. Okay, squad, okay. I did leave, I lost a lot of guys in this playthrough. I never lose a lot, but I lost. Commander of the Empire's invasion of Gaia paved the way for truce between the two nations. After seven tumultuous months at war, Gallians everywhere looked forward to a time of hard-won peace. Squad 7 of the Gallian militia disbanded shortly after the conflict's conclusion. And its members began to move on, each following his or her own path. And here, at the end of their long struggle, I lay my pen to rest. Curia Chronicles. I had fun playing this, viewers. I really did. I hope viewers enjoyed it. Um, I really hope I'll say viewers enjoyed this. It was fun. It was really fun playing it. I I absolutely love this game. It is, like I said, one of the most greatest video games of all time. Where you need skill to beat it. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I love it. It's, it's still a great game. I think the ending where Faldio saves the saves welkin is the best part but it's sad i find that more sadder because you know faldio just wanted to do good i think faldio just wanted to do good he wanted to do good not only that but he wanted to do right by welkin and that's the, that's the thing that i like and always makes me cry at the end of the game i mean i'm a grown man and i'm crying playing this game it, it's just it's one of those games that really, I'll say, sticks with you all your life when you play it. And also, it's one of those games that'll always, you'll never forget after you play it. I mean, I wish I could play this for the, for the first time once again in my life, but that will never happen. That's just how life is. Um, I absolutely love this game. It is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, this. I love this game, yes, but I also love Valkyria Chronicles 4. That was amazing, yes, that game was amazing as well. Um, but this, this is a good game. It, it is a fantastic, I'll say, Valkyria Chronicles game. I think this is the one that really got people into the franchise. And yeah, it's, it's a great one. It still is. But the other thing about this game is Alicia. She was such a good character throughout the game. And also with this game, you have to remember that, you know, she, she in that big middle part, she got hurt. And, like, you don't think she's a Valkyria. Well, she was the Valkyria. <laughs> now, another thing I want to I touch base on is Isara. Isara was a really good character. And I, I think that's also one of the saddest parts of the game where she died. Because it, it makes, it, it doesn't make, it's not that it doesn't make sense. It's just a sad way to see her character go the way she goes out in this game. But also, at the end, Welkin got his dream. He got to fly. And it was all because of Isara. Because she told those guys about the plane she was working on. Yeah, I absolutely love that whole thing. That I'll say, Leon comes at the end with the plane. I just love that. It's just done so well. Um, and, and, and also the thing about this game, it's not realistic, no, but I absolutely love the game for everything that it is. See, Laura Bailey did voice, uh, Isara. <laughs> I was right. Um, yeah, I, I do like this game. That's all I'm going to say, viewers. Uh, it's just a great game. That's all I can say. But until next time, viewers, uh... I hope you all keep watching my playthroughs, and my videos. Until next time, this is Cole's Playthroughs.
might take us bug hunting again soon, okay? You bet. You know, I think you're ready for my top secret hunting spot. Yippee! Thank <laughs> you! We'll see you tomorrow! Yep. Go right along home now. Welcome, Gunther. After the war, he returned to his studies. Many had thought the Galleon hero would rise to further fame, but Welkin had something else in mind. He returned to Bruel, there to realize his long-held dream of becoming a teacher. On weekends, he's often seen taking his students out on nature hikes. His is a peaceful civilian life, and he would have it no other way. Choosing Alicia's. Hey, honey. How's business today? Hey. Hey, you. What a surprise. Guess what? So I started selling the smoked cheese bread today, and everybody loves it. Of course. Told you that bread was great. Guess everyone in town agrees with me. Yeah. <laughs> Alicia Gunther. Trading in her rifle for a rolling pin, Alicia trained around the clock to pursue her dream. After many long months, she received her national certification as Baker. On the same day, she married her sweetheart, Welkin Gunther. Together, the two opened Alicia's Bakery. It didn't take long for word to spread about her delicious creations. And now, even visitors from far away make a point of stopping to sample her fresh baked bread. How about you? How are your classes today? Ah, uh, you know, those kids never seem to run out of questions. <laughs> you know, they're amazing. Their curiosity's endless. That's so. Then you're a kid, too. You're as incurably curious as any one of them. <laughs> Speaking of kids, how's Isara been today? Mark? <gasps> Papa! Hey there! Have you been a good girl? Yep, I was real good. I was just helping Mama make some bread. They needed the dough all by myself. Oh, I wish you could have tasted the bread that dough made. Our customer said it was the best ever. Hey, Hisara, that's really great. All right, you show me how and I'll help, okay? Yay! Come on, Papa, I'll teach you. 